to be sharing with you an opportunity in Australia whereby the government of Australia is paying overseas workers to work in Australia as construction workers or as building workers. So you want to stay to the very end of this video because I'm going to show you the two different pathways you can use to move to Australia as a construction worker or as a building um, worker and um, you're going to get paid uh, through these pathways and also I'm going to show you exactly where you can find um, the sponsorship. So if you are seeing my face for the first time, my name is Eva Mutali and on this channel we talk about moving abroad, we talk about travel, where I share with you my travel escapades to different parts of the world and um, we also talk about um, visas. So if any of those topics sound exciting to you, you want to make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and also hit the notification bell so that every time I shoot a new video, you do not miss out. And as usual, guys, how we roll on this channel, as you come onto the channel, please let me know where are you watching me from. Let me know in the comment section below. Please say hello. And of course, give the video a thumbs up. Give it a like because here we don't come to play. We share all the information with you and I tell it as it is. So guys, my house is next to a church and they have decided today, I don't know what they're celebrating, but it's been noise after noise back to back. So I want to go straight into the video of the day. So guys, um, the state government of Australia has um, a program they call Construction Visa Subsidy Program, through which you can move to Australia as an overseas worker, somebody who's um, an immigrant and work in Australia as a construction worker. And um, there are two main pathways that you can use to go. And the best part about this program is that they will pay you up to 10000 Aussie dollars to move to Australia as a construction worker. So why is the government of Australia having this program? This is because there has been um, a shortage of uh, um, construction workers in Western Australia and there is increase in businesses in the construction industry. So that is why they are looking overseas and interstate um, for workers who have the skills that are needed by the Western Australia businesses. So as I mentioned, there are two pathways that you can use. So you can go, especially um, this video is going to focus on people who are outside of Australia. There are other pathways that target those who are in Australia, but I'm going to focus. Guys, give me one minute. Let me just put on the lights. <coughs> So um, as I was saying, there are pathways for those who are already in Australia and there are pathways for those who are offshore, that is outside of Australia. And this video is going to focus on those offshore skilled immigrants, those people who are skilled in the construction and um, building industry, but they are outside of Australia, but they are looking to immigrate to Australia as construction workers. So there are two main pathways that you can use. So the first one is what we called uh, the employer sponsored stream. So through the employer sponsored stream, basically what happens is that um, the employer is the one who asks for the money from the government. Once they have found this money from the government, it's 10,000 Aussie dollars. And then they come and look for a skilled migrant to sponsor for this visa. So once they have done that, they apply to become a sponsor and then they assist you to lodge your visa and you come to australia that's the first pathway and um, as a sponsored skilled immigrant through the employer sponsored stream you can either you can come to australia through main visas so subclass 482 subclass 494 and subclass 186 that's the first pathway now the one i want to focus more on is the one which is called the state nominated stream so for the for the employer sponsored pathway it's the employer who gets paid this money and the employer comes and looks for you but for the state nominated stream you are the one who gets paid you as the overseas migrant worker you get paid this money but now instead of the employer coming to look for you look for them and i'm going to show you exactly how to do it 
So there are three main requirements for you to be eligible through the Western Australia State Nominated Migration Program. So number one, um, you are going to be given a visa through subclass 190 or 491. And don't worry guys about the stamp numbers. I'm going to show you exactly where to find all the details and everything else. And then the business that you are going to work for must be headquartered and undertaking building and construction work in Western Australia. And then number three, you must be going to work in an eligible occupation. And I'm going to show you all of that in a bit. So how do you apply for the state nominated stream? You as an overseas worker who has to work in the construction and building industry in Australia. So the step number one thing you'll have to do is to lodge an expression of interest in skill select. And I'm going to show you right now what that means. So it is the same way we have the Canada, what do they call it, like express entry-ish. It's almost something similar, but not express entry, job bank, sorry. The Canadian job bank platform is the same way. The, 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 the Australian version of Canada job bank is what we call skill select. So you have to go to this platform. It's called skill select. And the guys, I will put for you all the, what is it called? I'll put for you all the links here when I finish talking. So if you'll be watching this live after, the live just go to the comment section and then swipe left to see the comments that were done during the live and i'll put them there so this skill select is also a government of uh, australia website skillselect.gov.au i will show you all that so when you go there you indicate your interest in a um, western australian state nomination and then there is um, the best part is that there is a whole step by step process to apply for the Western Australia State Nominated in Migration Program. I'll put that link as well. And then you go and enter and show them that, okay, I am interested. Please pick me. So you'll go there and put in all your details there. Yeah? Um, and then the other one is so once you've already filled your details on Skill Select to show that you're interested and you've expressed your interest, the next step is to connect with an employer. So if you do not have already, you are not already linked with an eligible employer, there's another website you can enter your details. It's called the Skilled Migrant Employment Register, S-M-E-R, Skilled Migrant Employment Register. It's also an Australian government website. So on this platform, you go there, you indicate your interest to work in Western Australia, and it provides you an opportunity for an employer in Australia to connect with you. So it's just like job bank. The way you go and enter your details in job bank, and then if an employer who has a job that is related to your skill set, they can contact you. So it's the same way. If you don't have an employer already, you'll just have to go to the SMER website, enter all your details, and it is so simple, guys. I already tried it for you, so I can confirm it's not a difficult um, thing to do, yeah? So once you've registered your interest uh, with the Western Australia government, you've gone to the SMER website, you've entered your details, and then now you wait for the employer to contact you. Or you can continue looking through other websites like sick.com.au, and then you, you see if you can find construction worker jobs. So once you have done that, um, the other option, if you don't want to just sit uh, your... Your, details on this SMER platform and wait, you can use a um, registered migration agent. So the advantage with Australia is that the immigration system is so regularized that there's nothing like just a random agent coming to con you. The government itself has a list of migration agents that are registered and it even shows you step by step of how you can find these agents. It tells you the types of registered agents that you can choose and work with. And I'm going to show you all that in a bit. So that's the three ways you can get the employer. Either find one by yourself through like LinkedIn or seek.com or a Google search or um, what's the name of this other website? Indeed.com or go to this website, SMER website, put all your details and then hopefully um, um, indicate your interest to work in Western Australia and 
um, this provides you an opportunity for the employer to connect with you. Or you can use one of the registered migration agents. And then the third step is you have to register your visa approval. So once you have uh, you've done all those details, this employer has um, hired you and has, okay, rather has given you a letter of offer. Now you have to now go back to the um, immigration website of uh, Australia. And then this is gonna be after you have been approved for state nomination and your visa has been granted by the Commonwealth Department of Home Affairs, that is Australian government. So that's the process. You have to first find, um, express interest and then find an employer, um, uh, get nominated just the same way for Canada. We have express entry or we have the provisional nomination program. So this is like the equivalent of provisional nomination programs that you're going to be nominated by the West, Western Australian state. Then once you have all that done, you have all your visas, everything, then now you have to register your visa approval with the migration services. So once you've registered that, then now you come and lodge your claims, you'll be paid the money. Okay, so you'll have to claim your, um, lodge your first claim, they'll give you $5,000, and then you lodge the second claim, they'll give you the next $5,000. So something else to note is that you will be eligible to utilize the subsidy they give you, like this $10,000. It's supposed to help you off offset the costs you will incur in the migration process. So some of the costs that you can cover, this is just a, some, some of them, it's not a conclusive list, is um, the recruitment cost. If let's say you work with an agent and they charge you some money, the government of Australia will refund you that money. Um, any recruitment cost, maybe you worked with a recruitment company and they charge you some money, uh, the government will refund you that. Uh, maybe you submitted your visa at the Australian Embassy in South Africa or in Ghana or in Peru. Um, they are going to refund you the visa application fees. And then, of course, um, you need to find yourself to Australia. So you're going to pay like for your air tickets or um, you had to incur some um, shipping costs. So all those relocation costs, they're going to pay for that as well. So now let's go to the back end. I show you step by step where you need to go and do the registration. So turn the call laptop. Guys, I'm trying to hurry before the church people start screaming again. So this is the first website, migration. Um, I know this is not the, the one I want. Yes, this one, yeah. Skill select. This is where you come and register your expression, like your expression of interest. You come and express the interest to work in um, Western Australia. So you'll just come to this website skillselect.gov.au blah 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 and then you come here this is how the website looks like you can see it's the government make sure you always look for .gov.au that's how you know you're not being conned .gov.ou and you can see there it clearly says Australian Government Department of Home Affairs you just come here and say I have understood blah 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 and then you click on next and then you can see here um, relationship status, when completing your expression of interest, you should select yes to the question, do you have a partner? If you have a spouse or de facto partner, then choose either married or blah, 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 all that. Okay, these are just notifications of things you need to do. And then click on next. So you'll just come here. You can see the information they're going to be asking you for is your name, um, family name, your sex, female, male, other, date of birth, country of birth, country of passport, citizenship, and all that. And then, I don't know, should I do this? You guys, let me know in the comment section there if you want me to go through this thing one by one. Because it's going to take me some time. But this is like the website you come to. I'm worried for the chat they might start screaming again. So this is the website. Okay? If time allows... And they haven't the church hasn't started making the noise i'll come back and finish this so you've already filled your expression of interest then now you come here if let's say you don't want to um hire an agent or you don't have an employer yet you come to this next website it's called migration dot wa that is western australia dot gov dot au this is our services support blah 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 skilled migrant employment register this is now the equivalent of job bank in canada so you come here and you can see here these are the steps you will use 
skilled, skilled migrants seeking employment in Western Australia. If you are a skilled migrant who would like to connect with employers across Western Australia, sign up for the Migration WA portal and create a profile by clicking the button below. So you just come here and then you click on sign up to the portal. It opens on a different page. I already entered my details. I don't know. Oh, yeah. You can see it's already signed up. So I'm just going to sign in. But if you're going to be coming here for the first time, you have to come and click on sign up. Now, it's a very easy process. Enter your email account. They are going to send you a code to your email. Come back and enter it here. Create a password. And then you can sign in. So like I'm just doing. And then you sign in. Guys, you can hear the church is singing. Oh, they are passed me for another verification code. Okay, looks like I have to do it again. Okay, let me look for the verification. Um, <clears throat> where is the verification code? That one, and then come here, enter it here, verify code. Okay, you can see now it's very far and now you can continue. Okay, <clears throat> so this is on the assumption that you've already entered your profile. So you can say, why does it, it keeps telling me this, guys, all the time. We've encountered an app. Please try to sign in again. I hope you won't ask me. You can see again, Government of Western Australia, Department of Training, blah, blah, blah. So you can see here, hi, Eva. So it's going to have your name. So if you are an employer, that's where you go. If you're a skilled immigrant, this is where you go. So you'll say, I am a skilled immigrant. And then you can see there's nothing I have created. But let me say, start. This is where you're going to come. Start your registration. Sorry, guys, I'm rushing because of the church. Like, they make so much noise here. So I'm trying to make sure I can beat them. So you can see here, before you begin, please ensure you have the relevant documents handy as will be required to upload as part of the registration process. You're going to need your CV, resume, which is mandatory, your qualifications, mandatory, English test results if you have completed, and skills assessment if you have completed. If you are located within Australia, you will also need to provide a copy of your visa grant notice, which is mandatory, okay? And then if you experience any issues, don't come to EVA. There's a website. I mean, there's an email address there. So you just come here, start your registration. Okay. You can see here. Oh, come on. So you're going to be asked questions in four different areas. Personal, employment, migration. And then you're going to have to fill a... Oops. You guys, did you just see my, my phone number? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Because I've already entered this information. Anyway, so this is how... Oh, okay, let me create a fake date of birth. Mm -hmm. Let's try and move to the next page. Please don't call me if you saw my phone number, please. Okay. So you can see when you enter your country of... So I've, that's my email address. I'm being very careful. <laughs> I'm country of birth. Um, and then if, if you reside overseas, please specify location. If residing in Australia, please specify none of that. So let me go to save and next. Oh, okay, they want me to specify overseas. So apparently overseas, Kenya is overseas. Okay, so I think you have to... Oh, migration intentions. In, in intending to migrate to Western Australia, okay? And then you create processing. Okay. And then now, this is the other part. Now you can see, please tell us your desired occupation. Are you currently employed? Let me say no for example. Okay. I'll say no for the purpose. Because I know if I say yes, they'll ask me where. Okay. So I'm going to say no. And then you can see here. Please tell us which occupation you are seeking employment in. You can add up to three, and you have to enter the occupation, specializations, and your work years of work experience. So you just come here and say add your occupations. Now you can see here. Please select an occupation. 
so if you're ab if you if if you're unable to find your occupation from the list please email these people now there's something i want to show you just give me one minute there's another something i forgot i forgot to show you the list of um, construction jobs that are eligible and the reason i say that is so that as you're filling in this thing even as you're reading your cv you could be qualified in 1000 things but it's important to focus on those occupations through which um, you can migrate using the visa pathways that I've talked about. So again, I will put all these links here. So you can see right here are the occupations that are eligible for the CS, sorry, the CVSP program, which is the construction. Um, it was called construction what? I keep forgetting the name. Construction. Construction Visa Subsidy Program. Yeah, Construction Visa Subsidy Program. These are the eligible occupations. So you can see the following building and construction occupations are available for the CV, Construction Visa Subsidy Program, the listed visa pathways. It even shows you which pathways. So remember I said there are two pathways, employer sponsored, whereby the employer is the one who gets the money, but they're the ones who look for you. And then we have the state, um, um, where you're sponsored by the, the state, yeah, SNMP. So if your employer is the one sponsoring you, you can migrate under any of the three visas, 482, 494, 186 subclass, or if you're uh, state sponsored, state nominated, you can only come in through the 190 or 491 visa subclass, subclass okay? So where you see like why it says, for example, let's say here, if you're coming in as a construction project manager, then you can either be employer sponsored or the state sponsored because you see it has yes everywhere but if you're coming in as a builder you cannot come in under dharma you can only come in under visa 482 or visa 494 which means the employer is the one who can sponsor you cannot like come in as a project builder to be sponsored by the state so this is very important and then the other um um eligible occupations here we have architects um, we have um, landscape architect surveyor urban and regional planner civil engineer quantity surveyor structural engineer um, architectural drafts person building associate building inspector um, construction estimator plumbing inspector all this yeah guys you can see when we have bricklayers maintenance planner all these construction jobs stone mason carpenter joiner all this painting yeah all this anything to do with construction or building yeah air conditioning um you can be a plumber general plumber you can be a roof plumber you can be i don't know all kinds of plumbing jobs are there electricians um general or a special class i don't know what that means lift mechanic air conditioning and refrigeration mechanic cabler gardener wow a gardener is basically a shamba boy so you can even move in as a shamba boy as well interior decorator anything to do with construction work guys and building you can see const contract administrator earth moving somebody was asking me oh earth moving i think this is the heavy equipment stuff we have back operator excavator loader operator concreter my golf people please apply still fixer drillers assistants and all that guys i'm gonna leave this link so now back to um, our video now that we know the occupations that are eligible so let me go back to this form eh? <clears throat> So um, this is the form now we're saying when you come here, you select an occupation. So let's say I want like a plumber. So you can see, click here to, if let's say I have a name, I can enter it here. Or if I click here, you can see here, you search, or if you click on this, it gives me the occupation list, yeah? Just by clicking on it, yeah? You can see here. But now you want to focus on the construction stuff because that's the one which has the, the, the sponsorship, yeah? The one we are talking about in this video. Most of these have 
but for this particular video is a construction. So let me say I'm looking for a plumber. Plumber. Okay. Yeah, so you can see here the different kinds of plumbers. Um, plumber general, but now plumber and brainer, remember, is not on that other list, so don't pick that one, but a roof plumber is there. So pick either roof plumber or plumber general, for example. And then let's say you're an electrician, um, just click on this, click on this, and then come and search. Let me say electrician electrician okay so you can see we have two three types of electricians automotive electrician general electrician special class lift remember for that list we had that is eligible only electrician general and electrician special is important so guys it's important that as you pick um let me click what um i think i can pick Make sure that as you're picking, you pick things that are qualifying you. Don't just pick anything. So let me pick the plumber general and the plumber, what was plumber what? Roof plumber, because these ones are eligible, okay? Um, so those are the ones I have picked. Come on. Okay, no, it's not allowing me. To write okay plumber I don't know why because I've picked it and it's not letting me choose one record oh because I picked two okay let me pick one plumber okay let me pick um, a roof plumber oh I should have oh I was supposed to select oh okay yeah, so here you just scroll down and click select. Okay, so you can see it has picked the plumber general plumber, and then indicate how many years of work experience you have. I love the number seven, so I'm gonna say I have seven, and then please indicate if you have completed a skills assessment for the selected occupation. So, do you have a skills assessment? I've said no. If I say yes, it's gonna ask me the date and the assessing body. So, let me say no. And then I see what it's going to ask me. Okay, so you can see it has accepted. So you can see, please tell us which occupation you are seeking employment in. So let me say I want to add another one. Um, I'm just going to stick with plumbing. So come here, plumber. 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 Okay, now I want a plumber, roof plumber, roof plumber, okay, and then just scroll so that you see this part, select, okay, you can see there's a roof plumber, so when I pick roof plumber, so some of them, you can see here, it has a specialization, so I can pick whatever, so you can see here there's phasier and gutter installer, and then I don't know. I don't know what these things are. So I'm just I'm just picking anything, guys. And then we have seven years. I'm just picking anything random. And then I submit. So you can see how it's coming along. Okay. Now please tell us the industries you're seeking employment in. So come here add business so as you're looking for construction so i'll just come here con structure Sean. yeah so you can see building and construction pick this one building and construction including all trades and then if you scroll down, I'll just click on add. Okay, you can see it has given me the industry. And then please tell us which regions of Australia, Western Australia you are willing to live and work in. So you can see here, just come and uh, hit the, that one. Eh? 
I would suggest just start, unless you have personal reasons, just pick all of Western Australia. Okay? And then um, tell us your preferred employment status. Just say all employment opportunities so that you don't narrow down. But the other thing, I would, I would either pick all or I would pick permanent, full-time, okay? Actually, pick full-time. It's better, I think, you pick full-time for visa purposes, okay? And then please tell us any other information that relates to your desired, desired occupation. Guys, I know nothing about construction, so I don't know what you're going to write here. Just write anything. You can say, for example, so here, basically, what I would do, I would put a cover letter. Oh, I have worked in building in Qatar. I have worked in Sudan. I have worked in Mogadishu. I have worked in Canada. I, I don't know. Put your cover letter here. Things that at a glance are going to sell you. That's what I would put there. But you see, it's not compulsory, but I would advise you to do that. And then here, you're supposed to upload your resume. And then here, list your qualifications, yeah? Once you've written, listed your qualifications, I don't know what qualifications are there for plumbers, come here and upload proof of qualification. So here, you're basically going to upload your certificates, okay? Once you have done that, they're going to ask you, have you completed a formal English test in the last two years? So you can say no. If you say yes, they're going to ask you when. So here are the aisles and the like. You see, if I say yes, they're going to ask me the type of test. So these are the options. They have there the IELTS. They have the Pearson test of English. They have Cambridge English. They have occupational English test and they have TOEFL. If you haven't, just say no. Okay. And then when you click, when you've finished, you just click save and next. And it's going to bring you to this section where you're going to talk about migration. So give me one minute, guys. Let me just fill up this quick, quick, quick. And then we're going to see how, because it's difficult when I'm filling in those areas. Let me just, because I can't move next without filling in these areas. So let me just pick some random files here. And meanwhile, guys, 34 of you watching me only three likes. Really, guys, that's not fair. Please like the video. It's free, by the way. Nobody is going to charge you money share the live please also share the video i'm um, liking the video is free it helps to motivate me and um it also shows the algorithms that something interesting is happening here so um i'm just feeling in this is that can allow us to move to the next page mm, okay 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 Thank you guys for the likes. Thank you for those who are sharing. Um, okay. So guys, I've already filled in all the details. Okay, basically just fake stuff here. <laughs> None of these things is true. You can see I just uploaded, you know, all types of qualifications. I don't know, building and construction. I don't know what those are. I just wrote something building plumbing. Plumbing two, plumbing three. I don't know what that is. And then I hope it can allow me to move to the next page because that's all I want to do. Save and move to the next page. Because if you don't fill in, it won't allow you to move. Oh, great. It allowed me. Okay. And then you can see right here. Please provide an overview of your migration intentions. Do you have a valid passport? Guys, if you do not have a passport i can just log off and out after passport yes please okay and then oh you need an expiry date okay let me fake one um 2050 uh, 2040 no 2030 <laughs> 2030 we said if i'm tali if you're here you need a passport and then do you have do you currently have a valid expression of interest in home affairs skill select? Guys, remember this is what we started from. This was supposed to be step number one, expression of interest, okay? So here you must say yes. And if you say yes, they're gonna ask you for your number. So I don't know how this number, I'm just guessing this thing. I don't know if it allows me. So let's assume that's a number. So 
If you say no, it doesn't ask you for it. So if you say yes, it's asking. So let me try saying no, but you should have it, guys, by the time you're applying. It's going to just make your process faster. And then please indicate the visa you are intending on applying for or currently hold. So these are the options. Eh? So you can see here we have independent skilled visa. We have employer sponsored visa. We have not sure. You can be not, if you're not sure, you're not sure, you can say independent skilled visa or you can have both. Let's see if it's allowing both. Yeah, it's allowing both. It's actually allowing all. <laughs> okay, let's see if it can work. <laughs> because when you're not sure... Oh, it actually accepts. <laughs> so guys, if you're not sure, just put everything. Because you never know when you're And then you can see I'm now in the last part. You're com confirming that everything um your um everything you enter there is correct and true and then you accept the conditions once you accept okay you have to read hey you must read <laughs> okay they want you to read so you have to come here open them pretend to have read and then come back and you can see it's now accepting <laughs> So guys, when you reach here, make sure you click on the terms and conditions. Eh? Pretend to read them and then come down here. Accept. It's now active and then submit. Or you can go previous. Guys, we are very lucky. Thank you, church, for not disturbing the peace. We appreciate you for being considerate. So guys, um, I will go back to the which step? Oh no, I need to tell you the migration. No, I've shown about the I've shown you about the migration agents and everything. So let me put the links here before I forget. And then Maswali Yaji, you guys can ask questions for as long as the choir is not singing. Somebody is asking what can they do if they are unskilled. Get the skills. Remember on this channel, we focus, we don't do microwave solutions. That's why I always say you need 18 to 24 months generally for what I talk about to make sense. Yeah, because here yeah, we don't do microwave solutions for immigration. We go step by step, pole pole, taratibu, planning. And guys, tomorrow I'm going to be doing a video about the things we are not doing in 2024. When it comes to traveling abroad, relocating abroad, moving abroad, working abroad. So you want to keep it here. We shall be addressing some of the bad manners we are living in 2024. So if you don't have skills, please get skills. When it comes to construction work, you don't just, it's not like here, Kenya, anybody who is passing, who is available, Kuja, we have work. Uh -uh. You need papers. Remember what we said? um if it's not on paper it didn't happen so so the first link is for the construction visa subsidy program with this link you will find every, okay let me first post um so that first link i've consolidated all the information together everything i've talked about you can find it in uh, this link let me i don't know if it's, it will allow me to pin how do I pin? Hmm? I don't know it's not letting me pin. Because I want to pin it. Uh, okay, I don't know it's not letting me pin. And then, um, this other one <clears throat> is the program details. Okay, I don't know why it's not letting me pin, guys. This one. Or oh, something else I forgot to mention, guys, about this particular program, yeah? So if you are nominated by Western Australia for a skilled nominated visa under this program, 
you must register your um, arrival to start your two-year commitment to live and work within the state. So you're going to have to commit that you will live and work in Western Australia, okay? Something else I forgot to mention, you can move here with your entire family if you're under this visa clubs. Though there's something that um, Australia recently mentioned about dependent visa, and I'll address that probably on Thursday. No, tomorrow is Wednesday, or maybe on Thursday I'll talk about that, but yes. So this next one, um, where is the next one now? Okay, this is where you find your agents. These are registered, registered Australia migration agents. If you're the microwave generation, you don't want to do anything yourself, you can use those agents. Um, which other link have I shared with you guys? Okay, where to find employers in Western Australia? Employers. Here is the link. Skills. Um, I put it. <coughs> so here, that's where you log in so that you can, the employers can know you are looking. And then, which other one haven't I put for you guys? Let me see which other link I haven't shared. Oh, yeah. Lodge an expression of interest. Mm, so this one here. Okay, now the problem is that I'm logged in. That's a challenge I'm having. I'm logged in, so I have to come out. Um, lodge expression of interest. If you're watching this video after the live has ended, just go to the comment section, swipe left or right. Um, you will see the, under the charts, you will find these things. I think I've covered, what haven't I put here for you guys? Yes. Yeah. Okay, let me quickly read your comments and then we shall call it a day. Guys, please like the video, it's free. Pillar Mark from Doha, hi. Musafiri, I have already explained. Um, if you're just coming in after I have gone very far, just scroll back and watch the video from the beginning. Um, Frank is watching from Saudi Arabia. Hi, Frank. Michael from Nigeria. Hi. Bosibori from Kenya. Ah, kio minto. <laughs> Francis Maina. Is saying please assist me on how I can get there. I have just done that for the last 43 minutes. Kero from Kenya, hi. Charles from Tigoni, hi. Kita Mirike saying hi. Pascal from Tanzania, hi. Chiri, hi. Gikau from Nairobi, amen. Oh, Omo, amen. I love that. He's saying great work. Thank you so much. I appreciate the kind words. Sophie is saying thank you for the information. God bless you. God bless you too, my love. Joan Wayama, hi. Mark Fandi, hey, Mtuangu, hi. <laughs> My, Mark is a good friend of mine. Um, from Bahrain, Kingili, hi. Dixon, saying, wow, this information is so good. Thank you so much. Please share, share, share. Dukunda from Burundi, hello. Kenneth is saying, hi. Esther is saying, Ndiyo Tunafika, thanks for this info. I am late, but we'll check the video later. Sure, please check Joki. Tony from Mogadishu. Hi, Tony. How are you? We need to link up. <laughs> Tony, where are you in Mogadishu? I'm Amos from Uganda. Churchill. Hi. Is, oh, Amos, you don't know ask what to do if you're not skilled. Please get up, just get certified. Yesterday, I, I shared a bit. I think it was yesterday or the day before. Guys, do not underestimate the power of short courses. They come very handy, especially in a situation whereby... 
maybe you don't have the required number of uh, years of a quack experience, for example, or in such cases whereby they want evidence that you can do what you're claiming to be able to do. Remember, in the Mzungu world, if it's not on paper, it didn't happen. Um, and those are the links. Joy Waweru is say, hi, how can I have visa to Germany? My dear, we have, I think, 20 videos here on the channel. Please go to the playlist section and select Germany. Immigrate to Germany, you will find tons, tons of visas. And over the weekend, I'm going to be doing a video. Maybe on Friday, I will do a video on the different ways you can immigrate to Germany. So you want to keep it locked here for that video. Because a lot of people have been asking me in the inbox. Stacy is saying, hi, Eva, this is not in relation to today's live, but I sent you an email regarding cruise ships. Your response will be highly appreciated. My dear Stacy, you must be new to the channel. So how we roll here, if you have a question you want answered, ask me like on a live like now. Or if you find me live on TikTok, request to come up and ask your question. Or um, you can come on the comment section of any of the videos and ask your questions free of charge. If you come to my inbox, you have to pay. Sorry, you have to pay. Yeah, if you want a specialized response to you, you'll have to pay. But if you're lucky, the question you're asking is being asked by a lot of people, I will come and do a video about it here. But if you want specialized response, you have to pay, okay? Um, Damurila is saying, I will surely try this out. I'm Kenneth from Uganda, hi. All the best. Ruth from Kayole, Sasa, Atis, Lon um, from Kenya, Cheruyot, hi, just feed following from Saudi. Thank you so much. Um, John Wayama is looking for nanny jobs in USA and Canada. Good luck with that. We have so many videos here on the channel. Guys, I don't want to keep this video for too long. Thank you so much for tuning in. There are many 35 of you who didn't like the video. I hope you will find it in your heart. <laughs> So like the video. So guys, I'm thinking, I think I need to go to, I haven't been on TikTok for a very long time. So once I log off here, guys, we have a TikTok channel. We just hit 100,000 followers there. Please come and join me on TikTok. I don't even know what I want to talk about, but I haven't been on a TikTok live in a long time. And I think at 6.30, I'm going to go on a live on TikTok. So you're welcome there. The beauty of TikTok is that Unlike YouTube, where I'm just like talking to you guys, on TikTok, we get to interact. You can actually request to come up and we can chat. So guys, you're welcome. I'm heading over to TikTok. The account is Eva Mutali. You are welcome there. It is such a vibe. And guys, if you have any further questions that I didn't answer, just ask them in the comment section below. I will answer them free of charge. But if you come to my inbox, you gotta pay, okay? Thank you so much for your time. It was a pleasure having you guys here. Please share the video and I wish you all the best of luck. If you are thinking to move to Australia as a construction worker, go and eat that money guys and see you on the next one. Bye.